Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm doing something actually really different. I've never done a video like this, but if you guys like it, uh, I'm super down to make more videos. So, basically I'm sort of doing, uh, if you guys watch a lot of more popular YouTubers, they do like meme reviews or stuff like that. I'm sort of doing something of the sort. So, as you can see in front of me, uh, there are two pictures of a first generation Mazda RX-7. Uh, these photos popped up in uh, a Facebook group, actually, the RX-7 Argument Group, uh, which I am a part of, which is just a horrible, horrible group, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so they popped up and then the post was deleted. I happened to save these photos because I thought these pictures were just so weird, and uh, so hopefully with the help of you guys, we're going to just kind of talk about this car um, and kind of decode it. I guess, um, because there's a lot, a lot going on here. Um, so first of all, let's start off, let's start off with this rear picture here. Um, so we'll blow this up a little bit. So a lot going on immediately right away. The first thing that gives this car away, obviously it's a first gen RX-7, um, but right here, I'm going to assume that this means it's a SA as opposed to an FB. We really can't tell, tell off the taillights, uh, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and the front and rear bumpers are gone, so we also can't tell. This part right here, speaking of bumpers, looks molded in, uh, which is really, really interesting. But I've only seen the locking gas cap on the outside on SAs uh, and not FBs. So that would lead me to assume uh, that it's an SA. Also, uh, as you can see here, zoom in, uh, you can't see a hood prop. The SAs had hood props. Um, on the passenger side, or well, but speaking of that, as we can tell here, it's right-hand drive. Um, so, yeah, so it it appears to be an SA. So that that we do know. So it's a 78, 79, or 80. Um, so within those three years. But going off the fact that it's right-hand drive, if I can figure out how to use preview. I have no idea what country this is in. Obviously not America. Um, and it doesn't look like any well-known UK uh, countries. I don't know what these plates are. They're just black with white lettering. Um, but I know for a fact... Um, well, this van looks right-hand drive as well. So it's a, it must be a right-hand drive country. Um, but I've never seen this van before. That looks like a BMW E30. That's what that looks like to me. Um, but, yeah. So, a lot going on here. Um, second of all, it's not really second of all, but I'm going to be making a lot of points. Um, there is no engine in here, so we can't really identify anything based off that. I would assume it's a 12A car, knowing that it's an SA. Um, which, actually, now looking at this first picture, this fender up here kind of looks flared out a little bit. I don't know if it's just bent. Um, but it looks flared out. But let's get to the really interesting part that was really weird to me, and that is the tail section of this car, I guess. Um, these are not stock taillights at all. And at first, I'll pull up a picture here, I thought that they were S4 RX-7 taillights, but if we pull it over here, we can see the, the white isn't long enough to be an S4 taillight. And this is too thin. Uh, these borders here are too thin, so it's very similar, but I don't think that's what it is. I have no idea what taillights these are. I don't know if these are maybe Porsche taillights uh, that have been molded in or whatnot. Um, but yeah, and then we get to this bumper, which looks molded in, because you can see this line is unbroken all the way around the bumper. Obviously, the paint's chipped, and it looks cracked, and it's not in the best of shape, but it's actually molded into uh, the body, which is really, really interesting. It actually, if it were all put together, no cracks, no paint chips, uh, it would actually look pretty professionally done. Um, there's no obvious seams over here or anything, which is really interesting. That being said, I've never, ever seen uh, any body kit on an SA or FB that looks like this. I don't know if this is molded off of another car. And again, with all this stuff, uh, if you guys know anything about this car or anything about um, 
anything I'm saying, like if, if you're saying, hey, this is from a bumper of a minivan that's only sold in the UK or something, if you recognize anything, please leave a comment down below. Um, the exhaust is going out the stock side, but it is a single exhaust, so not stock. Um, but what caught my eye recently, I didn't notice this at first, the locking switch or the, the key lock for the hatch is not in the middle. I I don't know how or what it this is this is the most confusing part because this should be right there. Um as far as I know every RX7 or S F B and S A had the locking right there. I don't know how it's moved. I don't know why it's moved. And that was really puzzling. As if this car wasn't puzzling enough. Still a four lug. I'm going to assume that it's still a four by 110, uh, which is interesting because I've never, I actually kind of like these wheels. They're not horrible um, for what the car is. Other than that, we obviously have huge rust and paint chips. Um, this looks flared out a little bit now that I'm looking at it. A little bit of flare. Um, I'm not sure. That doesn't look like the stock fender flare. Um, let's kick over here to the front. Obviously, missing parts. That looks st pretty stock down there. Missing the front bumper. Uh, and all the badges, too, are gone. Uh, missing windshield wipers and obviously missing the engine. Nothing really too weird. The, but the, this front picture is good because first of all we can help identify that's an SA because of the hood prop um, and also the license plates. I think this is big. And obviously if we zoom out here this doesn't look like um, anywhere that I've been. Actually it looks a little bit like Slovakia. A little like the cars look like Slovakia but they don't really have Slovakia is, is very uh, Eastern Bloc European. Uh, a lot of buildings look very identical because they were under communist rule uh, for quite some time. And this does not look like that. So I don't know. We got something over here in the parking lot I'm just noticing. Oh, move this. That looks like, I don't know what that is. But we got a Ford, what it looks like. Yeah, all cars that I don't really recognize. I would say that that's like a Toyota Tercel or something, but probably not. Looks like a gutted interior. Um, obviously, inside door panel, we get this circular vent, so it is pretty sure it's an SA. Um, but yeah, this is this is really what throws me off, is that, that hood, or the, the trunk release. But I don't know. If you guys have any information on this SA... Uh, or if you recognize anything, if you maybe know the country that it's in, um, or the body kit, or the wheels, or literally anything, please leave it in the comment section down below. It'd be fun to kind of, as a community, uh, come together and kind of decode what the heck we're looking at. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.